Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to blend a, a texture into your photograph using Luminar AI. Hello and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today I want to show you how to add and blend a texture into a photograph using Luminar AI. Let's go ahead and get started. Up on the screen I have a really cool shot that was captured by one of the photographers we work with, Nicole Young, and it was captured at a brewery and you can see the brewer has the glass in his hand, raising it up there to look at the quality and the consistency of the light coming through the beverage. And I felt like it needed a little something extra to really make it pop. And I decided adding in a texture that had a bit of a bokeh background would be a really cool touch. I'm gonna to start with a quick edit using a template and then we'll jump over to our local masking tool to add that texture. I'm going to go to the scenery category in my templates and use one of my favorites here, clean, clear and sharp. And you can see it just added a little bit of extra definition to the photo and gives us a better starting point. From there, I'm going to click over to the edit tab and we're going to jump straight over to our local masking and go to add texture. We'll give that a second to load up. All right. So here in our texture selection, we have a bunch of preloaded textures that come with Luminar AI and you can also add your own. So if you wanna add a custom texture, you can click on this plus button at the bottom. If you wanna add your own texture categories and add folders of textures, you can do that here with the Cho Custom Textures option. I'm gonna go into this in far more detail on Thursday. So if you're interested in learning how to better organize your textures, make sure you jump in for that episode as well. For now, for today, we're gonna to use one of the built-in textures that I really like, and that's this one here, it's called Night Blues. Now you notice that effect is very subtle, and that's because if we click out of that window, we notice that the opacity is automatically set at a default of 50%. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that all the way up to 100 so we can get a better idea of what's happening. Next thing we're gonna do is click into our advanced settings and take a look at what we have going on here. So you'll notice that we have um, the blend mode is automatically set to screen. In order to better see what's going on here, again, I'm gonna switch this to normal. Now you'll notice this texture does not have any um, transparency to it. It completely obscures our image. So that's where we're gonna wanna work with this opacity slider to back that off and really see where this is affecting our image. Now I love this bokeh that's coming through, but it's really not placed where I want it. We can manually place it using place texture and that's like a free transform tool that allows you to manually resize and place your texture. But for this image, we actually have a couple of quick shortcut buttons here to flip it right to left and top to bottom. And I really like where it is here with the top to bottom. I think that works really well. Now let's go ahead and bring up the brightness of our texture, add a bit of extra contrast, and maybe even pop the saturation a little bit. Now it's obviously too dark, it's obscuring too much of our photo. So I'm gonna back that opacity down quite a bit and I actually really like it right about there. Now, as I'm looking at this, the one thing that's hitting me is I don't like that there's little bokeh bubbles right here on our glass. If we were looking through this glass ourselves in real life, you wouldn't see those necessarily through the glass or they would be very, very much obscured because we're looking through two layers of glass plus a little bit of liquid on the inside of that glass. Having them over the front definitely is a giveaway that we added this here. So what I wanna do is go up to our masking tools and choose paint mask and I'm gonna choose erase because I wanna erase those areas of the texture from the image. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my opacity here maybe around 50, 60, 70%, that's about good. My softness of my brush, I'm gonna bring the softness down quite a bit, that gives me a harder edge brush so I can make a better, more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? More detailed mask. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and start dragging that over my glass to get rid of most of that effect. And I don't have to be super precise here because we wanna keep some of that glow around the edges. And this is just gonna remove that texture from this area. Everything that's in red will keep the texture and everything that we've painted out is gonna remove it. So there we go, we've really lessened it. I might lessen it a little bit more right about there. And that looks a lot more natural. I also think that this texture darkened up the hand a little bit much. I'm gonna use the bracket key on my keyboard to make that brush size bigger. I'm gonna make my opacity a bit lower because I only wanna reduce it a little bit 
but I'm just going to drag this down here and get rid of a little bit of that effect down here on the hand just to bring back a little bit of that detail. And if you feel like you went too far, you can always hit the X key on the keyboard to switch back to paint and then paint that back in where you think that effect needs to go. All right, let me take a quick look here at the chat and at the comments and see. Hey, Jerry. Hello, Harry. Uh, Belgender, glad to see all of you here today. Uh, Belgender has a question. How to remove any textures photo? I have a few random photos from outside for double exposure, but can't remove it from the texture bundle. So if it's one of the ones that is built in, you can't erase those. But what you can do is go over to, let's see here, go to your uh, drop down menu here to choose your texture. When you go to all textures, go to show custom textures. If you purchase textures or you have your own custom textures, you can go ahead and remove them from this folder and that will remove them from Luminar AI. We'll go into this a little bit more in depth on Thursday when we talk about how to organize and keep your um, textures accessible for when you need them. All right, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's take a quick look here at our before and our after. And you can see that adding that background added a bit of color, it added a bit of whimsy, and I really, really like the effect and I hope you guys do too. If you have any questions, make sure you pop them into the comments below. I'll stick around for a while after the live stream ends to check those comments. Make sure you guys get your questions answered. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give us a thumbs up here on YouTube and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.